Good morning, tree climbers. This is Miss Erin and Miss Christy reporting to you live from Zach's Treehouse on June 14th, 2020. Mr. Brian is off this week nursing a golf injury. We are interrupting your current camping trip in order to bring you this week's news. Last week, we began to take a closer look and focus. We are learning what it means to have faith and faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Our Bible verse for this month comes from Hebrews 11.1. 1. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Today, some of our VBS helpers are gonna play a game and see how well they can move around when they can't see. VBSers, out to you. Hey tree climbers, I'm here with my VBS volunteers tonight we're gonna play a game for you. They're gonna play musical chairs when they can't really see because this month we're learning how to focus and have faith. And faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. So the Brewer family is gonna show you all what it's like to move around when you can't see. Wow, that was a crazy game, Miss Erin. How can anyone get anywhere looking through these eyes? <laughs> That's probably what my vision would be like if I wore Mr. Brian's glasses uh -huh. all day. Last week, we talked about several people in the Old Testament who never saw Jesus with their eyes, but had faith and trusted God anyway. Today, from the book of Acts, we're gonna learn about a guy named Saul who literally couldn't see anything for a little while because God changed his point of view. Check this out. In the book of Acts in the Bible, we can read the story of a man named Saul. Saul is also known as Paul. Like many of the religious leaders at the time, Saul believed that he was closer to God because of how closely he followed God's rules. He carefully studied God's law. He prayed three times a day. Dear God, thank you for making me so good at following your laws. Like other religious leaders in Jerusalem, Saul is caught off guard by Jesus. Saul and the other leaders were very upset that Jesus claimed to be God's son. Jesus had died on the cross, but his followers had actually seen him alive. Against all odds, the numbers of Jesus' followers began to grow. The religious leaders did everything they could to squash the new movement. Saul became known for hunting down people who believed in Jesus. When he discovered that some Jews in the city of Damascus were following Jesus, he went straight to the high priest Caiaphas. Saul asked Caiaphas for letters to the synagogues in Damascus to give him permission to arrest the believers and take them back to Jerusalem. Saul traveled with a group of men to arrest the believers they found. After days on the road, they were close to Damascus. As they entered the city, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around Saul. He fell to the ground. Saul heard a voice from heaven speak to him. Listen to what the voice said. Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, he replied. I am the one you are opposing. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what you must do. The men traveling with Saul stood there, amazed. They couldn't even speak. 
Saul got up and he couldn't see. The other men led Saul by the hand into Damascus. Saul stayed there at the home of a man named Judas on Straight Street. For three days, Saul was blind. He didn't eat or drink anything. Bread? Water? Saul thought he knew the truth, but then he came face to face with Jesus, a man he knew was dead, and he discovered that Jesus was very much alive. Even though Saul couldn't see, it was actually like he saw everything about Jesus in a whole new way. Here's why. Knowing Jesus can change the way you see everything. Miss Aaron, that's so cool that God even opened Saul's eyes in a pretty dramatic way. Saul had spent his life up until then trying to stop the message of Jesus, but now he could see the truth that Jesus really was God's son. God opens our eyes too in lots of different ways and helps us look at our life from his point of view. Sometimes God speaks to us through experiences. Like earlier this week, it had been a long tiring day, but that evening there was a rain shower with sun and there was the most beautiful rainbow and a colorful sunset. That was God reminding me that he's with me and he, that he sees me. However you get to know Jesus better, it's always worth it because knowing Jesus changes the way you see everything. That's right, Miss Christie. No matter what crazy situation might blur your vision, remember to focus on Jesus. Because focusing on Jesus will help you to love others like he does and live the way that gives him glory. We'll be back next week with more ways to focus and take a closer look. Until then, stay, stay safe, Sycamore Tree. tree.